I recently got a Tandy 1000 series computer and started going through my library of games to see what I could run on it. I came across Zelliard, published in America by Sierra Online in 1990. However, the game originally released in Japan in 1987 on the NEC PC-8801. At first I'd simply take a note of the game for whenever I get a Tandy because of its exceptional graphics and sound, but then I got to playing it, and I've gotta say, this one surprised me. Zelliard is a platform game in which you play as the Knight Duke Garland. Strangest looking knight I've ever seen, I could have sworn he was a Viking. Perhaps he is using illicit substances, and just imagines he's a Viking, judging by the freakish beasts that grace the cover art. Even the frog has weird teeth and odd proportions, and... Is that a skull tattoo? What the heck? This version is the MS-DOS game, which will work on practically any computer with 640k RAM with a variety of graphics and sound modes, but the Tandy one is the one I'm interested in. Get into Zelliard. Because you can. Well, I can't argue with that logic. Once you've configured the game settings to your liking, I'm going with the full Tandy mode here for most of this review, the game starts off with the logo and a pretty rad theme song and some backstory. The gist is that apparently the kingdom of Zelliard has been taken over by the demon overlord Jashin, apparently as some kind of revenge plot. What else would it be? Demons do that kind of thing all the time. He rains sand down on the kingdom, turning it into a desert, and then turns Princess Felicia into stone. So perhaps you aren't completely stoned, but the princess certainly is. <laughs> okay. Anyways, you are Duke Garland, who has been sent by the spirits to save the kingdom by collecting the nine tears of Esmasanti and killing everything that moves, including Jashin. Yay, typical fantasy action plot lines. But unlike many other games, you'll actually follow this plot all the way through, gathering bits of story along the way, which is pretty wild for a game from 87. You start off the actual gameplay in Zelliard, walking around in a town near the castle. These towns are your home bases for the game, where you'll actually do everything from save the game to buying weapons and armor, using the bank, and learning new abilities. You can even talk to the various townsfolk about things going on at the time. This is starting to look more and more like a role-playing game than a typical action side-scroller, and that's because it kind of is. That's not a bad thing, either. Once you've talked to the king and received your 1,000 golds, you... Wait, did he just say golds? Golds. <laughs> that's awesome. You can use your golds to save for later, or spend on various items like potions or weapons or, you know, magic things. Once you're ready, you can enter the meat of the game, the labyrinthine caverns. And dude, check out the music in this section. This is probably the best show-off for what the Tandy machines were capable of. It kind of reminds me of somewhere between a Game Boy and an NES or an Atari 8-bit or something. While we're on the subject of technicalities, you're looking at the Tandy version. There are Hercules, CGA, EGA, and MCGA VGA modes to choose from, the latter of which are pretty close to Tandy, just with a bit more color depth. Personally, I just prefer Tandy modes overall because of the sound that you get, but the MCGA and Adlib or Roland MT32 sound would also be pretty darn cool. So yeah, this is the action portion of the game. It's rather straightforward. You just run left and right and kill things with your weapon. The manual includes most of the information you'll need to get started, and there's also this nifty keen and uber-useful poster of the different labyrinths. Sweetness. It's really big and awkward, but totally useful. You will encounter frogs, gastropods, rats, and bats in this first section, as well as environmental hazards. But don't be surprised if you die pretty quickly by touching anything and getting essentially raped by all these creatures from all sides because the game is really, really unforgiving when it comes to combat. And a lot of that has to do with the controls because they're a little strange at first. I don't really know how to describe it. Jumping is weird and it's just a little awkward, but it's not horrible. It's all about timing and knowing how these enemies work as well as strategically gaining and using potions and such. Of course, the type of weapons, armor, and maximum health will also determine how tough the game is. To upgrade yourself, you'll need to collect Almas. 
No, not that, Alma. These are weird little orb things that fall from most enemies. You can then go back into town later and trade it for golds. You can also collect golds in the caverns, but if you die, all your golds will belong to the caverns, and you'll also lose half of the Almas that you've collected. There are no lives. You just lose half your crap and return to the first town. Just visit the Sage's Hut, save your game, and go back for more. At the end of each cavern, you'll have a boss to kill. Go to the next town, wash, rinse, repeat. It sounds pretty simple, and really it is, but it's also got quite a bit of depth for such an old game. All the different combinations and possibilities of potions, armor, and weapons really add an incentive to continue playing in different ways. Plus, the sheer luck involved with the spawning rapist enemies and the way you really play it makes it pretty darn fun. And each cavern contains new enemies and environments to tackle, so you'll probably get frustrated far before you get bored. And for this type of game, that's not really a bad thing. On top of that, the world is just cool looking, with the impressive graphics and sound of the game really giving it the leading edge over PC platformers of the time. In fact, I think this is the best platformer on PC until Epic and Apogee started doing their things in the next few years. Zelliard is one impressive game for 1990, and even more impressive for 1987. I'd love to try out the PC-8801 version if I could ever get one of those machines. It's got action, a coherent plot, genuine challenge, RPG elements, and most importantly, fun, without being excessively punishing. Zelliard, get into it because you can.